story. The owners of the website Pornhub are considering blocking access to Canadians. This comes as a response to a Senate bill that would require age verification to access explicit sites. The legislation would require Canadians to verify their age to access porn online, citing concerns about minors having access to sexually explicit material. The bill doesn't specify how, but options include digital ID systems or facial recognition software, measures that have prompted privacy concerns. Well, this is a talker. Ritesh Kotak is joining me now. He's a tech and cybersecurity expert. So um, what do you make of Pornhub's argument here? You can, can you see both sides? I can definitely see both sides. I think on the one hand, this is a novel cause, uh, the ability to ensure that only adults have access to adult content. But on the flip side is how on earth are we going to verify age without giving up personal identifiable information? And, and most likely, is this going to be some sort of Gov where you have to upload government issued ID? Is this going to be something where you have to conduct facial recognition? And I'm sure that individuals that are visiting these sites want some level of anonymity. So it's kind of this balancing act between access to content and privacy um, with respect to age verification. And I don't know, I think that this is a very slippery slope. How so? Well, here's the thing is that if I am forced to verify my age and I have to upload government issued ID, uh, let's say my driver's license or passport. So I've now uploaded that onto a site or a third party site to verify my age. Well, there's going to be some sort of digital handshake that takes place between the, the, the site that identifies me and my age and Pornhub. So now individuals uh, may potentially be able to mine or if there's a data breach, uh, know that uh, what I'm doing online, and that in itself, I think, is extremely problematic. What is the goal, do you think, of the Senate bill? Well, I think the goal is uh, noble um, in the sense of protecting young people or uh, from explicit online material and ensuring that only individuals that are of age get access to it. Because there is obviously um, the brain is developing and being able to, if you're young and, you have, and you're easily able to get access to extreme pornographic material um, that, you know, there's clear, there's clear issues with that um, uh, with respect to, to minors. So that's the goal. The way you go about implementing the goal, um, if done incorrectly, actually creates more issues and problems in the future than solving a problem. Is anyone successful um, verifying age or identity through online apps or, or sites? I'm thinking about online gambling, for example. There are ways of secure of securely identifying yourself. This is a what we call identity management. Uh, we see this with corporate networks um, being able to get on uh, securely on uh, on those networks by having some sort of authentication mechanism. We've seen this with banking sites or even government sites where you use a third party such as your banking uh, your your bank to uh, verify who you are and be able to gain access to particular services, usually government related services. So there have been ways of successfully implementing it. However, this is a whole other realm and uh, is a lot more complex than uh, traditional ways of identifying individuals. And again, if done incorrectly, extremely problematic. Um, on the business side of things, um, is Pornhub hurting itself by blocking access from Canadians? Yes, uh, they're, they're, if, they, if they block uh, Canadians from having access, and this is a company that I believe is headquartered in Canada, um, that obviously has a, um, a major blow, but clearly this is a company that has international reach. I don't know what percentage of their revenue is actually Canadian, but they're taking a stance here, and the stance is this bill, bill, um, which sorry, this Senate bill, so S210, um, is problematic, and if it's passed, it's going to make it impossible for us to essentially operate, is what Pornhub is saying. There are going to be fines, administrative monetary penalties that are going to be attached to non-compliance as well. I believe it's 250000 for the first offense, and then half a million dollars 
for each subsequent offense. So if this is passed, if they're found that they didn't do everything possible to verify identity, then it's going to cost them significantly. And maybe the the, the potential fines and costs is just not worth it um, based on the revenue share within Canadian markets. Ritesh Kotak is a tech and cybersecurity expert. Thank you so much.